Bonds. India batting first score 273-47. Well, they closed the day on 273-47. Gautam Gambier scored 60. Sachin Tendulkar 75. Yuvrat Singh 32. And skipper Mahendra Singh Dhoni, he was uh, 22 not out. Uh, Tendulkar in a classy performance struck. Uh, he made 75, that's uh, of course, and he struck 13 fours from 155 balls in a good-looking knock. Uh, James Anderson has been the leading English bowler with figures of uh, 3 for 68 from 21 overs. Monty Panassa took 2 for 74 from 35 overs, and Graham Swan had the other wicket bowling, uh, which cost him uh, 46 runs from some 14 overs. England, no doubt, will be looking to quickly wrap up the innings on the second morning. And uh, India, meanwhile, will be looking to score well beyond the 300 mark. Lucas Hay throws its uh, firm support behind the Intercollegiate Swimming Championships. Uh, it's sponsoring the event, the 11th edition of its kind, for the first time in 2012. Uh, the sponsorship was rolled out Wednesday morning at the Ministry of Sports conference room in the Ministry of Complex. Uh, over 100 students from 13 schools are competing in the event Friday from 10 o'clock in the morning at the Good Hope Swimming Pool in Southeast St. George. This is Vida Bruno Victor on behalf of George F. Huggins and Company Grenada Limited and uh, by extension Lucas Aid. We present these medals and trophy towards the success of the inter swim, inter secondary swim meet on Friday, God's willing. May the best team win, all the best. Thank you very much. George Huggins and Company official there, Denny's uh, Park Langine, as she handed over the medals and trophies for the event to a prominent secretary in the Ministry of Youth Empowerment and Sports, Vida Bruno Victor. The support is well, most welcomed by the Department of Sports, who has been promoting the secondary school's uh, championship for over the past decade. So we have been working very hard with the Swimming Association, and we've been trying to be very happy that George F. Huggins has come forward with this partnership to help us further develop that um, Besides the sport, to develop the, the talent of the athletes within our secondary schools. An athlete does not get to the Olympics unless they begin in primary school and move on to secondary school and then move on to club structure and then they can, you can see them moving forward. It is not a four year period that gets you to an Olympic and helps you to win a medal. It is sometimes over a decade of performances, development, and now the athletes are starting even younger. So we expect a lot of things to happen with us swimming. And that's why the ministry is ensuring that we help to develop it. Sports official there, Vida Bruno Victor, the PS in the Ministry of Youth Empowerment and Sports. Uh, another Huggins official, George Porgy Turbin, said that they are delighted to involve the in youth and national development. We are very much into sports, very much into culture, very much into nation building. And we do not really see it as a sponsorship, but more so as a partnership. In recent times, what we have been doing is emphasizing our partnership with organizations. And partnership in a situation where you don't find in sports often both teams winning. But our partnerships with different organizations, especially sports organizations, we trust and we encourage to be a win-win situation. We provide some amount of collateral for the association organization to get things done. We, we, we help with a platform for the athletes to show their talent, but we expect some sort of returns in terms of sales of our products. And uh, Chairman wants to see the event grow and develop. We would want to encourage the organization of this meet to make sure that this partnership works and grows into a, mar a marriage. 
Um, I will not hesitate to tell you that if we find it's not something that is growing, we all for institution building to the organization, the organizers not building. If we move from 15 teams to 13 teams and then to 11 teams and then to 7 teams, then very likely you will be seeing local scene. But if we're growing, obviously we would grow with you. Huggins official there, George uh, Porgy Turbin. And staying with swimming, a full member team is representing, representing Grenada at the Interbul Swimming Championships uh, in Istanbul, Turkey from December the 12th to the 16th. It's comprised of Issa Simpson, Nicholas Kord, and Oralua Turbin. Manager Natalie Regis Tihira completes the lineup. Officials are upbeat about the team's performance. My expectation for them, for the team, that they are going to do their best, especially they are going behind national records and their personal best times to lower their times. Because this meet is a very competitive meet where you have those who came from Olympics, like Lochte and so, will be at that meet. So they will be competing against Olympians. So the best they know that they can do is to do their personal best and to break some national records. Swimming official Pamela Cherubin. She says that the build-up has been pretty encouraging. They have been in several competitions. And um, Ori and Issa just coming out of um, OECS competition. And Nicholas just had a competition up at the state. So they have been um, fresh from competition. So they are ready and they have been tr in training. So they are ready, mentally and physically ready. And you're expecting good things. I'm expecting good things from them. Right, a confident uh, swimming official again, Pamela Cherubin. Finally, the national women's uh, football teams of Grenada and St. Vincent and Grenadines are meeting in a two-match uh, series here over the weekend. Uh, they clash in the first game on Sunday or Saturday evening at the National Stadium from 6 o'clock. Uh, the encounter precedes the final of the Waggetee Super Knockout Football Tournament later on from 8 o'clock between Hard Rock and Lime Paradise. Uh, the second game is on Sunday at the Fur Pasture in St. Patrick from 4 o'clock in the afternoon. The matches are part of uh, the uh, ongoing programs in both countries to enhance and develop women's football in Grenada and, of course, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. That's sports. I'm Trevor Thwaites. <laughs>
recapping the main points, Chief of Staff says developments surrounding Derek James are nothing personal. FPA policyholders in Baiko to begin receiving payments on Thursday, and police appeal for public cooperation as the Christmas season approaches. That is the GIS News Hour. I'm Leslie Ann Johnson Cornwall. On behalf of all those who made it possible, we thank you for viewing. You're watching the Government Information Service, channels 12 and 22.